Now calculating the internal resistance of a cell is a, a kind of key practical that you need to know about. It's often brought up in exam questions. So what we have is a fairly new cell here, um, which we can then measure. We've got a voltmeter, we've got an ammeter, we've got a switch, and this thing here is a variable resistor. Now sometimes uh, you get a little kind of box that you just twiddle a dial on. Uh, sometimes you also get a thing which is basically a big coil of wire with a slider on top of it, and that's called a rheostat. But basically all this does is it changes the total resistance of this external part of the circuit to the cell. Now, um, when it comes to taking, doing the experiment, what you do is you basically just set it up. You close the switch, you record the potential difference and the current. You then uh, adjust resistance and do that many more times. When you get six results, you can then plot a graph. So the results that you're going to take should look a bit like this. So you're measuring the potential difference across that, uh, that thing there, which is called the terminal PD, because it's the potential difference of the battery terminals. And we also have our current measured in amps. What you can then do is actually think about the equation. Now the equation uh, for internal resistance and how that links to EMF is that um, EMF is equal to the potential difference plus IR, where I is the current in that circuit and little r is our internal resistance. If I rearrange this equation, I can also say then that V is equal to E minus IR. And I can then also say that V is equal to minus RI plus E. So it's just the same equation, just rearranged in this form. The reason this is important is if we can think about the equation for a straight line, we can say that Y is equal to MX plus C. Now what that means is if you plot uh, the potential difference on the Y axis, and you plot the current on the x-axis, the gradient and the y-intercept then naturally mean something. And what you'll find is that when you have a greater and greater current flowing in that circuit, um, the internal resistance is going to have a bigger effect and you know, effectively cause what we call more lost volts. And that means we get a graph that looks a bit like this. Now, um, what does the gradient mean? Well, a gradient is going to be equal to minus the internal resistance. So the gradient is going to be equal to that and the negative value of the internal resistance and the y-intercept here is effectively the the true emf of that battery you know so if it's a three volt emf effectively we only get the maximum uh, energy out of it when you have no current flowing and therefore the internal resistance has no effect on it so um that's pretty much all there is to it okay um so yeah that's it pretty much uh, set up the circuit six good readings uh, with a nice range remember to take repeats uh, and then find your mean values plot v against i on the graph and then your gradient is going to be equal to uh, the negative value of the internal resistance of the cell